السلام علیکم یہ فرسٹ کیمسٹری پریکٹیکل کا پریکٹیکل نمبر نائن ہے اینڈ دا آبجیکٹ از ٹو ڈیمسٹریٹ آ شفٹ ان اکولیبریم پوائنٹ اور دا اکولیبریم پوزیشن آف اے ریئیکشن بائی چینجنگ کانسنٹریشن اینڈ دس از اے پارٹ آف دا لیچیٹری پرنسپل اینڈ دس از کنسیڈر ایز دا مائنر پریکٹیکل in first year chemistry especially for the examination 2025 so this is the minor one and it has three marks so what do you need for this experiment you need uh, a beaker uh, you, you need three beakers but we can manage it with one beaker only uh, Anyway, so we need three beakers of 250 centimeter cube and uh, not necessary that you, you take the 250 centimeter cube beaker. You may have a beaker of 100 centimeter cube and you can perform this experiment easily. Glass rod is required for mixing and stirring. And uh, sometimes you need dropper or you can use the beaker directly. In my experiment, I have performed this experiment without the dropper. Potassium dichromate is needed and sulfuric acid is needed, but you can use instead of sulfuric acid HCl as well. Because uh, this experiment requires hydrogen ions, so hydrogen ions can be provided by any strong electrolyte, any strong acid and sodium hydroxide. And what is the theory that when an equilibrium establishes, then when you increase the concentration on the product side, then equilibrium, equilibrium position shifts to the left, means the reactant side. But if you decrease any um, component on the product side, then reaction shifts towards right. So when you increase the concentration of hydrogen ion, so equilibrium shifts to the left. If you decrease the concentration of hydrogen ions, then equilibrium shifts towards right. So that's why we are using an acid, HCl or sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide. So HCl increase the concentration of hydrogen ion when you will add and when you will you will add sodium hydroxide it decrease the concentration of hydrogen ion so the theory behind this experiment is that potassium dichromate potassium dichromate the formula of potassium dichromate is K2Cr2O7 And the IPAC name of the potassium dichromate is potassium dichromate 6 because in IPAC name, it is must write the oxidation number of the transition metal. So this potassium dichromate 6 is a red crystalline solid. When it dissolves in water at neutral pH, it exists as chromate, cro chromate dichromate. Chromate dichromate equilibrium. Chromat is yellow in color while dichromat, that is dichromat 6, is red in color, but the resulting solution is orange red. So you will get the orange red solution of the dichromat. So this is the color of the dichromate in water because water is neutral. The equilibrium can shift towards left or right by changing the concentration of reacting species. So here we can easily uh, change the concentration of hydrogen ion by adding acid or by adding sodium hydroxide that we will see. So what are the requirements for this experiment? see in the diagram this is the real diagram that we have 
taken two beakers for sodium hydroxide and one beaker, uh, two beakers for so HCl and sodium hydroxide. And this HCl is uh, there and here sodium hydroxide is there. And this is potassium dichromate in solid state K2Cr2. K2Cr2O7 solid. So we will dissolve it in another beaker that you will see in the video. But right now, see the procedure first. Prepare a solution by dissolving a spatula of a solid potassium dichromate, that is the potassium dichromate 6, and approximately 100 centimeter cube distilled water in a 250 ml beaker. And definitely, if you, if you are using a beaker of 100 ml means 100 centimeter cube, then definitely you will take a small quantity of water that you will see in the video. The solution will establish equilibrium between dichromate 6 and the chromate ion, and uh, that exhibit the orange red color that we have already seen in the theory. Afterward, add concentrated sulfuric acid, and I told you that instead of sulfuric acid, I used HCl drop by drop into the solution until a solution turns red. Then gradually add the sodium hydroxide into the solution until it turns yellow. So now we will see the video. Okay, now see uh, the thing that you have seen in the image that this is HCl, sodium hydroxide, and this is the potassium dichromate 6. So the potassium dichromate 6 is transferred to distilled water, see. We have taken, this is about one spatula of potassium dichromate, and this is water. So, this is a very small quantity. Then we will add the small quantity of water first. And see, this is the wash bottle. Yes, this bottle is called wash bottle. It contains distilled water. It has a jet. So to provide uh, water with little pressure, so that you can wash the walls of the uh, beaker or the container so that uh, content uh, which is stick on the wall can be dissolved or can be carried down in the solution. So we have added a small quantity of water. See, the color is orange. This is neither red nor yellow. It is not completely dissolved, so we will add more water. If you see that adding more water, it is going towards yellow. How? See one more thing. See here, the equation, water is here, water is on the left hand side. So if you increase anything on the left hand side, then mm -hmm equilibrium shifts to the right. So that's why it is becoming more yellow. Now come to the video again. Now more water is added. See that wall and the glass rod is being washed.
now it is about uh, dissolved i think not completely dissolved little bit is there settled down at the bottom now we have taken sodium hydroxide and the sodium hydroxide is being added and see the change in color now see see this is becoming yellow and now after shaking see what's this it has been changed to yellow so adding more sodium hydroxide it shifts the equilibrium more towards more towards chromatin because hydrogen ions are being reduced reduced you know, this is not in terms of chem uh, chemistry but in english reduce means decrease in hydrogen ion concentration so until until this stage you have seen that it, it turns yellow and why does it turn yellow the reason is as i told you that there was an equilibrium between cr2 o7 2 minus h2o and there is chromate CrO4 2 minus chromate that is yellow in color. This is red in color plus hydrogen ions. So here you can see that uh, uh, hydrogen ions are not balanced. Let me balance the, uh, two moles of hydrogen ions. Okay, so now it is the complete equation and it is the balanced one. So what happened when you add the sodium hydroxide? So it decreases the concentration of hydrogen ions. So equilibrium shift towards right, towards the product side and it became, it became yellow. So you have seen this and now see what happens when we add HCl. See, it becomes orange. When we add more HCl, it becomes more orange. So you can see here, now the situation has been changed as we have added Now, again, sodium hydroxide is being added and see, again, it is going towards yellow. So until this, you have seen that when we added sodium hydroxide, so what happens? Equilibrium shift towards yellow. Okay. So equilibrium shifts towards red to yellow. And when we have added HCl, see this is HCl. So when we are adding HCl, it becomes orange. Why orange? Because increase in concentration of hydrogen ion shifts equilibrium towards reactant site. And again, again you can see in the end when we have added, again we are adding sodium hydroxide. So you can see here on adding more sodium hydroxide, it becomes more yellow. So it is again going towards yellow. So in this way, you have seen the effect of uh, changing the concentration, uh, effect of changing concentration on equilibrium position. So now come to the experiment uh, procedure again.